And I have a very strong sensation that the Ukraine has fought over the heads of many of globalism too. Hectometry. The globalism once you got into the Black Sea, into the Crimea, and the only Mediterranean port was the Black Sea, the Bosphorus Sea. I have a real strong sensation, and I have since the get-go, that the Ukraine kicked off has been boiling, brewing over for at least more than a decade, 15 years or more, with NATO, etc., etc. But I think it's more of a balance of globalism washing up into the Soviet sphere. This is something that they will not tolerate. This is Western Glen and Glib. This is Western Sellout washing up into the Crimea, into the Ukraine, and in NATO summit, all. Uh, is it odds about what to do here? But you know, I, I remember seeing people burning heat, burning oil in oil barrels in the middle of winter, in the middle of Ukraine, Kiev, in the middle of winter around 2009, trying to stay warm in their Nike Chinese made shoes and their Nike Chinese made hood clothing that looked almost too American to believe. The sports paraphernalia that the, the Ukrainian people were trying to stay warm in one very cold winter, burning fire open open barrel. And then some of the Ukraine having helmets on, some of them. This was in 2009. I thought, you know, that does not even look like Ukraine. That looks like Philadelphia. Or that looks like Santiago. And they had all the sports brands. And see that globalism was washing up into the Ukraine. And the economy was turning more westerly. Started hooking into this massive global grain cookout. And Soviet sphere from Moscow, who seems to be trying to make their economy inflation-proof too, decided that it's, they're not going to allow the Ukrainian disaster to wash up into the Crimea at all. That very important port in the Crimea and the Black Sea. Uh, you see.